Hi, my name is Helen Tupper. I'm the CEO of an organisation called Amazing If, and I'm the co-author of a book called The Squiggly Career. And I am delighted to be working with The Fold in support of International Women's Day to share some career tips with you. And in this career tip, we're going to be talking about how to be a challenger and how to make an impact. So making an impact in our work and through our careers is really the result of two things. The first is about the idea. We really want to focus our efforts and energy. So what's the kind of clear idea that you're going to put your efforts and energy behind? And the second thing is all about action. What is the action you're going to take to support that idea? Because unfortunately, ideas without action don't go very far. And if we want to increase our impact, we've got to put the two things together. So let's start with the idea then. What can we do there? Well, the first thing, if you want to make an impact, is to focus on what is it that you really want to stand for? If we were going to put you know, a flag in the sand and it was going to be your commitment to a certain thing or initiative, what would that be? So for example, for me, it's all about careers. It's about making careers better for everyone. That is what I want to stand for. The second thing for you to have a think about is in terms of the work that you want to do, what will it make you stand out? What is it that you're doing or saying that makes you stand out? If it was a, a diamond in the rock, what is it that makes your diamond stand out? And so for me, for example, it's when we talk about squiggly careers, that's a concept that makes us stand out. It's how we make everything really actionable for people. It's how we share the stories of our careers. They're things that make the work that we do stand out. But think about your idea and what makes your approach stand out and make it distinct and different from others. And then the third thing when you're really shaping your idea is just to think about who are you going to stand with? Because we increase our impact when we work with other people and there could be other organisations, institutions, uh, individuals that actually you could stand with as a way of really building your idea and getting momentum behind it. So as you're thinking about what's the impact that you want to make, just make sure you're reflecting on what do I stand for? How do I stand out? And who am I going to stand with? And then when we're thinking about specific actions, this is where we can really accelerate your idea and increase your impact. So in terms of standing for, what we really want to think about here is how you make it visible, how you make this thing that you're gonna stand for visible in the world, how you put your work out into the world. I remember when I first started our business with my business partner, Sarah Ellis, and we would just start doing a blog and I don't think it was particularly good, but it was about getting our work and our words into the world. And so just think about how you're making what you want to stand for visible to other people. Maybe it's a post on LinkedIn. Maybe it's something you're putting on your intranet. Maybe it's a podcast that you're going to create and share with people. But just think about how you make it visible to other people. In terms of what makes you stand out, one of the most important things here is that you are consistent. So let's say you start writing that article on LinkedIn, make it happen every week. If you're going to share that podcast, think about how you can do that consistently. When you start sharing things consistently with people, it really starts to build your profile around this area of impact for you. You know, we've put out a weekly podcast since 2017, and it's been one of the things that's really made us stand out is that people know that that is there and they can rely on it and they trust it's going to come and we will keep making it come. But think about how you make your stand out, your diamond, how you make that consistent for other people. And then last but not least, when we think about the people that we want to stand with, the big here, thing here for you to think about is how you can collaborate with people and not compete because actually we'll get much much further when we collaborate with other people sometimes we might think oh they're in a similar space to me or uh, they've got a different idea or they do it differently and, and you might think about well how do I separate from other people but we can go much much further when we connect with other people that might share the same idea as us want to be part of the same impact that we might want to create in the world and when we can connect and collaborate with them think about the almost like the ecosystem of people that you might build around your idea to accelerate your impact so i hope that's given you just a few ideas about how you can increase your impact through thinking about what you stand for how you can stand out and who you might stand with and making sure that you stay visible consistent and collaborate with others too 
For more tips, you can listen to our podcast, which is the Squiggly Careers podcast, and head over to thefoldlondon.com, where they're doing lots more to support International Women's Day. Thank you so much for watching this video.